everyone and welcome to TMA Sunday Night Live. This is The Pidge and I'm joined by that young man, Daniel Dean. The Moog Dean old Moosey. He's happy. The sir. Yeah, Danny Owen. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. He's, he has the ball. match ball. Um, yeah, one, yeah. Guys, just uh, as always, we're going to uh, carry on previewing uh, tomorrow night's game. Yeah, that as well. Um, tomorrow night's game at Wembley against... Tottenham Hotspur um, or Spurs, if you want to call them that. You know, we're, we're quite flexible yeah. here, aren't yes, we? Very flexible. Um, yes. Not in that way, though. Yeah, Gibbs. 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 <laughs> Gibbs and Yibs. Um, so, guys, just message in. Let's get all your, get your opinions. Let's get talking. Um, also, we'll t- try and talk. Uh, we'll talk about well, whilst we're on the subject of Wembley. You know, Wembley getting taken over with American investors from mm. Fulham all that lot we'll talk all about that a lot yeah, but let's carry on previewing that. Tottenham and also we've got a non-league review by Moovesy himself as well so that's coming up as well guys um, and also we won't bother with the plugs we'll just I'll just plug them on the message board so we've got a load of other plugs so I'll pass them on so if I've got my head down in on the tablet I'm not watching Paul I'm actually um Plugging some uh, yeah, things. He will be. Sure. Yeah, he will be. Anyway, so, I reckon, so if I pass him the tablet, yes, that's what he will be watching. Um, so right, go on then, boys. You two are going. Yeah. So, yeah. And we're watching it on Sky. Yeah, do you know what? what? I think. I think we've got a slight chance. I think. I mean, it might be a bit optimistic, but <laughs> pressure's on Tottenham to win, really, isn't it? It's true, actually. Yeah, right? it's it's massively true, yeah. on them. You know, because will they set the hangover from the FA Cup? You know. Again, it is, it's a Wembley pitch, big pitch. Not many players get a chance to play at Wembley, so hopefully they, they thrive on it tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. But then again, I haven't this, played. Is, <laughs> this, is what, this is what we're talking about. We've played it twice, lost twice. So. Exactly. So, so I fear tomorrow that there could be a nasty, nasty backlash coming yeah, from Spurs. Mm. And if they're in the mood for backlashing, we're going to get swept off the park mm. in a big old way because they will yeah. not stop they will go out and hammer us mm, completely. to take out the frustration you know, of losing that semi-final, which I, I still believe they should not have lost, but I uh, won't go into that. But yeah, no, it is going to be a tough, tough game tomorrow night. I know there's about 3,100 of us going down. We did sell out the allocation. Yeah. Fair play, so I cannot wait. So tomorrow night, guys, we have seriously got to make some noise. We need to be as vocal as we can to let the boys know that we are there because we're not going to be close to the pitch. We're going to be you know, we're in the corner. Yeah, so. we're in the corner, so we're going to be quite <laughs> yeah. far back. Yes, down that way. About that yeah. way to yeah. the left. Yeah. yeah, a bit like Duncan when he's trying well, to find the bunker. Wembley, he's he's got to enjoy it. His trip to Wembley. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. It's a mo- Monday night out trip to Wembley. Yeah. It's got to be done. You know, I just, you know, I just want the boys to turn up tomorrow. Just, yeah, just turn up. Turn yeah. up. Okay, if we lose, we'll just turn up. Yeah. I don't, I don't want us to turn up and just just roll over. No. You don't want that because we've happened so many times you've got like Liverpool and Arsenal exactly. game. So you just want us to turn it, put a bit of a fight in for the to get fair enough. We, we yeah, go. To me, so, just keep solid for the first yeah. 15 minutes. Just keep yeah. in the game. Don't mm. worry about scoring. Just get defensively. Yeah, exactly. that's yeah. it. Don't worry about it. Stand, yeah. like, just stand them up and yeah, just get in their faces. Wind them up. Let yeah. them know you're there. The man, we need to watch is Christian Eriksen because Harry Kane, uh, he's been scoring the goal, but I think Eriksen is up. Yeah, he's Eriksen is a catalyst. Yeah. Fantastic. And Eriksen, Eriksen is on. Yeah. He, he has seriously hit what, we need to top four. Sort of double up on him. Yeah. So he, yeah. he gets the boy. He'll just, he'll well, he was the one who set up the um, Kane goal at home, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I thought, yeah, like I said to you, completely thought it was Trippier because he kept no, on bumping yeah, down the right wing. Yeah. Yeah. The first time he didn't, it was yeah. completely Eriksen. It was like, oh, actually, it's Eriksen. Yeah, he's brilliant player, Eriksen. Yeah. Yeah. My reason being corners because he puts in a lovely ball. No, he's, yeah, he's, 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 right. he's, he's, he's a magnificent dead ball specialist. Yeah. And, free, and the other thing is, I worry about is the free kicks. Yeah, oh, yeah he's, absolutely. He can yeah. just place them wherever he likes. Yeah, without even yeah. warning. Like you can, the goalie can set the wall up perfectly, and he'll yeah. just go like, right, I'll bend it all the way around. I'm to still okay. not going to I'm it. To, I'm to okay, Ted. Yeah. There you go. So. We keep saying it. Why don't we play Gomez this game? Because one of his former clubs, it's time yeah. to put Gomez in these posts now. It's ridiculous. Get his under yeah. pitch. Yeah. Oh, exactly. If he then right says, if he if he then looks back and says, look, I don't want to the other season. I'll just stay as goalkeeper coach. I mean, he's had his under Then we don't. It's not one of those glass yeah. half full sort of moments. Then no. you sort of think, if only he had that chance. But you know, Gomez, Gomez is not going to bother one bit if he doesn't get under appearance. That's the kind of guy. No, but I think a lot of us would just. We would. We would. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to see him get his yeah. appearance, but Gomez is not going to lose any sleep if he doesn't no. get his yeah. appearance. I think, I think there's also a little, I, I, I sort of wonder if there's a clause 
in Kanisi's contract, mm. you have to saying that he's got to season. play mm. a certain amount of games while on loan. Yeah, maybe. So it's not just a case of sending him over there for the season just to act as a backup. Because let's be face it, if Gomez didn't didn't get injured previous Leicester game, Gomez would still be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, the yeah. thing. So, but if I made you know, he he, he uh, took his chance at Leicester and he hasn't looked back since. So he on form, but at the minute, mm. Gomez is looking a bit. Yeah, it's a, a bit like that. To me, you don't do enough big saves. No. I know you can't save everything, no. but Gomez will do that old wonder save. And he just doesn't seem to do it. Like Pick the one out. How the hell did you yeah, that's save it. Just that one. wonder save? Yeah, yeah. Remember just the game what? against West Ham earlier this season? Yeah, beat him two uh, nil. Yeah, that okay. save, Gomez. I think was just um, was it? Can oh, I tell you that save? I'm yeah, when it was like yeah. towards the end of the yeah, play, was not, like, was like, how have you saved that? Like, yeah, yeah. How many times have we said that about oh, Gomez? Yeah, he saved us so many points more than he at least. One out of every three games, yeah, probably yeah. at least mm. he'll pull something yeah. out that'll pick exactly. it out of the yeah. top, top corner. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Since, instead of karate kicking, since we've been playing, like, <laughs> since we've been playing, I can only remember Gomez having one bad game, and that was the game against Leicester away, where he sort of give Vardy a penalty and then he sort of missed the ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. that's the only time he's had a bad game. He would come out and say, "No, I'm sorry." Was like, hey, it happened. Yeah, it happened. Yeah. He, held his, he held his hands up and took yeah. full responsibility over yeah. it. Yeah, we're a bit softer. Like we're Gomez. a bit softer on him because he he wins us a hell of a lot more than yeah. he loses. Yeah. And people slaughtered Seaman years ago, and he did exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. The same well, sort of make mistakes. Well, Keepers are going to make mistakes, aren't they? Yeah, all players make mistakes. Exactly. But, but he's big enough to yeah. come out yeah. of it and just say, look, you know, I'm. I've made the mistake. Mm. We said, oh, Sonic, don't worry about yeah. it. Is Danny fit for this? Or is he... Yes, he's, he's, been, fit, he's yeah. been declared fit. It's yeah. a cacker that's been ruled out. Oh, for Christ's yeah. sake. What apparently, he doing sitting down? I was more worried about Danny at one point. But apparently, a cacker's gone and pulled his thigh and he'd done it against Crystal Palace yeah. but played on, mm. which was why they then subbed him off. Yeah. So it was, that wasn't just to get no. him off. That was because that he was one he up pulled up. up. That's already told us formation. He's so, got Danny up top. That's... But he has said that he's been impressed with Andre Gray, so is well, he going to say? Just just Sinclair as a backup. Yeah. Just have, just have Sinclair as a backup yeah. on the mm. bench, or because it's a massive pitch, try and use the whip a bit. Yeah. yeah. We've yeah. got yeah. players. Well, yeah. Stick Pereira yeah. on. Yeah. Tell Richardson and Pereira. I'll, I'll, to I'll think we go for Richardson to play tomorrow. I'm being perfectly honest. Because of his whip. Yeah. 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 It'd be like, it would be nice to see. Don't do like Jay. Jay said. We joked about this before. Don't try and sabotage this game. And try and play with a narrow yeah. formation. Play for a point. You go out there, go, no pressure, no fear. Yeah. Go, go and Grash will probably play thing. And to be honest, Silva, if Silva was here, the snake, but if yeah, Silva was be, here, yeah. he would have played with yeah. a whip, a yeah. lot of whip. I yeah. Yeah. Silver's oh, this would probably would have suited Silva's teams mm. because it's yeah. a big pitch. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah it would have done. There's no, I, I think there's no question about that. I, you know, I just, I, I think tomorrow, I think the team selection will be vital. Mm. But I think too. I think there's going to be a few surprises on the bench, i.e. Shalabar and oh, Delafay. Yeah. Delafay, I think, will be on the bench. I then. think oh, they are going to yeah. appear. Yeah. Because they are both back in full training now. They are they are both back and, with the first and team. That is going to give us a massive lift. To oh see God, players exactly. on the bench, even on the bench. Oh, as well. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Even if they don't even play, but to see them on the bench is going to give us a massive lift. lift. Yeah. yeah. Huge lift. Exactly. Oh, you know, even if, a lot of them kick up the arse yeah. saying, hello, hey, moment, these guys are going to be sniffing Look around them. Because by, yeah. the, by the sounds of it, they're a fire, they're negotiating, they're looking at the game. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. So okay. they'll look at it and say, hang on a moment, guys, you've got two games in the season, you know, you mm. wait until pre season, these guys will be sniffing around your um, yeah. positions. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's strange, like, I know, because there's, there's been talk recently saying, like, people have been saying, one minute. Watford and Barcelona are having negotiations, then negotiations aren't going to happen. Yep. Then Barcelona are saying, well, actually, we want to send them to Real Betis. Betis are saying, well, hang on a minute, we don't know what's going on. But the one thing I'm a little bit baffled by is Barcelona are saying they want 18 million for him. Mm. The only way they're going to get 18 million is if Delefeu quickly goes back and signs a contract extension. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the only way they can get the extra money. Well, you won't do because, that. and De- Delefeu has already said he's reluctant to sign. Yeah. How long has he got left on his contract? About he's only got two years. Two years. Okay. So the extension was going to be for to take it to four years. Mm. So well, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was because mm. <laughs> Barcelona were trying to be crafty because they're trying to yeah, get, get rid of mm. some fringe players because yeah, they're yeah. going to go all out for for one big signing. I mean, that, haven't they got a tra- some sort of transfer embargo or something in Barcelona? No, that's been, that, that got lifted. A, that got lifted. Bit, yeah. yeah, I know they did have some sort of Yeah, they did, they did have an embargo for a little while, but then that got lifted because they, they brought in a few a few players. Yeah. So, um, 
But yeah, I just I I think that the value is going to stay with us permanently. Yeah, um, I think it would because I went to the at your place event at the ground a few weeks ago, and Scott Duckby, without actually saying it, he said he's coming because somebody asked him a question saying yeah. what's happening with Delafayu, and he basically said he's not not for sale at any price, and he goes ever to anyone. So that's <laughs> that says it all, really. Yeah, that sounds like something to be in there. Yeah, I'll eat and and then join the event he got a phone call as well so that might have been dead for his agent but but seriously seriously I think he, he definitely is going to come well he wants yeah. to come wants to be as well yeah I think but that he wants to stay. might depend on if grass is in it seems to have a good relationship with yeah. 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 I think I, yeah. I think it's odds on that the grassy is yeah. staying yeah. I, I can't see you know I think I touched on it the other week yeah. you don't go and give someone an 18 month contract yeah. and then sack them after six after six months. I know we've had this history. I know mm. we have gone through a shed load of managers, but I think the Pozos have sort of said, look, you know, we're giving you this. Let's see what you can do. Let's see squad. what yeah, you yeah, really exactly. can do. Yeah. yeah. Shuffle out players you don't want. Yeah. Get rid. You can bring in what you want mm. and you can do it how you mm. want. He had some good so. defenders. He's pretty much got a squad. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Back, yes. Shana, we can put defenders just... fish. We've just got a very defender. solid team. It's just the last two years, our yeah. our injury list has not helped. Walter, yeah. to be fair, well, I yeah. look, I look, Silver yeah. as well. The start of the season, I thought outside the top six, we had the best squad depth, as in the depth of players. But then yeah. obviously you got all them injuries. Yeah. It just gone full like that. We've yeah. got no depth. Exactly. Now. That's why yeah. Duxbury said there's not going to be a massive overhaul in the summer. We've They're going to look players. at quality. Yeah. If we're going to buy now, there's going to be quality that can play now, yeah. yeah. i.e. Yeah. the Hugheses, the Salabars. Yeah. Players like that, we're not buying exactly. like we did, like I said this before, like we did on the, um, like, like we did the first season mm. back Florence. here, on the Florence, mm. where we basically Signed had to buy players. Yeah, Which is fair enough, because, you know, coming up, yeah, which is absolutely fair enough. It's going to be nice just seeing the players, because it mm. won't be, hang on, who's, where's he from? Oh, he's from Genk or something. <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, he'll be on loan yeah. for another nine months. Mm. It'll be, oh, brilliant, he's like signed. I'll be on Lowry signing them, and then we don't never see him. Yeah, exactly, so... Mm. I Does think, he still exist? Mm, Who's that? Obi Alari. That's it. Oh, a lot. Um, Obi, yeah, he's Obi, 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 Obi. Is he Willem Tway or something. Or, he, yeah, he's out on loan. I think. No, I think he's back in Belgium. He's back in Belgium. Yeah, he's he's back at one of the Belgium teams. Just, um, oh, who is it? Uh, um, oh, I can't think which one it is, but he's it's a had club in it. Yeah, he's had, <laughs> he's, yeah. he has had a very up and down season mm. because he Been in he, man, yeah, he managed to get in the team. Started playing well, scored a couple of goals, and then got injured again. Mm. Google. Which was, yeah, <laughs> quickly Google, Google it. Google, um, Google yeah. search out for the lads. And then <laughs> he come back, started playing again, yeah. then picked up another injury. But now he's back. Is that one Antwerp? That's it, Royal Antwerp. Antwerp. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, that That's one, the one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a, tour, it was a toss up between Anderlecht, Genk, and, and them, so it was. I was <laughs> tossing quite a lot. Yes. For his West Ham were after two of the players, one. Paul said was Mawson and Dunk. They're two perfect defenders. Well, I said they're top two of my money, top five. Million, million 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 million. Yeah, th- well, no one's sniffing around Aidan Flint. And I've no, still got my not, campaign to get Aidan Flint to put control. Yeah. Because the really well, well, the rumour is really we're going back for that Stevenage young stuff. That's reignited. Well, it's been well, it's been reignited, so I don't know what's happening. He's one for the future, isn't he? He's one for the future. Even if you pay, look at John Stones. That was it. Everton got him for three million pounds, and people are sniffing at that. And look what he is now. He's an England yeah. international, yeah. playing for one of Somehow. the biggest clubs in the world. Somehow he's an England you international. Know, yeah, but in all fairness, you look at him this season. His season is better than it was a couple of seasons. He was yeah. shocking. Yeah. I mean, Rosette, I mean, everyone said put it in Rosette. He's miles better this season. He's still not the fit chart. No, but, he's but still, in the terms yeah, of his progression, yeah, 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 we're not saying we're going to have John Stones, but no. that example mm. could happen again. Yeah, if we buy this yeah, guy, that, and no. with all all accounts, this kid is quality. Mm. So yeah, two million, two million, sniffing around yeah. him. Well, if fun, you pay two million it? now, we can get nothing. Six years out of him, and then he goes off for like 35, 40 million. Right, don't know. We should try and put a bit in for Kurt Zuma. You know, he's only on loan at Stoke. Get Kurt Zuma. He's Zuma. big enough yeah. lad, isn't he? Yeah. Was a left back, isn't he? Yeah. No, centre back. Yeah, left centre back. He can play left because I know, well, to say that, that is Mark Hughes' tactic, so I can't really read into yeah. too much of that, but he did play left back a couple of yeah. times. Which I thought, uh, I thought, hang on a moment, didn't he play centre back? Mm. But there you go. <laughs> That's Mark right. Hughes for you. Yeah. Thank yeah. God he does. Well, Stoke actually down there, they are. They finished. Not. Not quite, no, yeah. not quite, but no, he's right. now starting to stack up against them, and he's stacking up against West Brom as well. West Brom could have been relegated last night, 
if Swansea had avoided defeat. Yeah. Um, they lost, um, lost five in a row now, Swansea. Mm. Yeah, football. so Swansea are getting sucked back in. I West Ham are looking like they're going to stay at Swansea, but now it's like looking... I would really love West Ham to they're, go they're down. They're in the running. They're 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 going, yeah, I really yeah, would want to see that. I know that's really responsible. It's the run... The run is that some of that lot have got. Especially Huddersfield as well. Chelsea yeah. and Man City last year. Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's that's that's the same. Right. So right. disappointed at home, weren't they? Yeah. That's why. Brighton have still got the stinker because they've still got to play Manchester United, Chelsea, and someone else. They're you think look at Man United's run. Right. Right. Yeah, you look at Man United's run. They've still got to play us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> well, I mean, bloody hell, that's probably the hardest run in, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tottenham, Tottenham, Tottenham World Cup players. We bloody yeah. well, mate. I mean, yeah. Newcastle bit shit themselves as well. Yeah. I mean, you know, really. I think Newcastle are, I mean, because they don't know what Watford team's going to turn up against. Them. Yeah. We don't know what well, Newcastle shit. team's going to turn up, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Shadowman, they're playing that Newcastle game. Yeah. 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 The fact is. 20 minutes or something. Get them 10 minutes against thinking Tottenham. or even Tottenham, yeah. and then, then stick them off. Stick them yeah. yeah. all, all we know, <laughs> yeah. all we know is there'll be a fat Spanish waiter on the sidelines. It's called Rafa Benitez. So. Yeah. Manuel, <laughs> yeah, Manuel. So, yeah, there's uh, right, let's dive into a few of these. Yeah, comments. yeah let's keep um, comments. Keep comments, keep super, commenting, guys. Super Darren Grimley's in the building yeah, tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's put oil, he's put oil yeah. on what's happening. Oh, yes, he's got the shirts on again. We've got him on it again. You'll be happy with that. Um, <laughs> and the hand gestures, yes, and that. Uh, is that your? So Alan of Lathwell is in, looking a bit cosy there, chaps. Yes, we do like to be cosy. Yeah, we do, yeah, like, we do like a good snuggle. Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. 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 Someone's actually said you're very camouflaged. Oh, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lens into the surroundings. Oh, yeah. There's no yellow here at all, is no, there? No, 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 exactly. <laughs> Unless you're coloured, Lloyd. Watford, Steve, where's the celebratory bunting? I wonder what you're getting at with that one, sir. Bunting out. Bunting out. Darren's put, we are not getting, uh, we are not getting a, a thing out of, of the Monday game. Laugh out loud. Watford Woody's in the building. Stuart Higgins, bonjour, boys. Um, happy birthday again to uh, Moosey. Uh, yeah, oh, man. Was, yeah, it was my birthday on Friday, He's guys. Uh, I'm not 40, I'm 34. <laughs> It's yeah, 34 yeah. moves, you're 34. Why yeah, do you keep 30. saying you're 40? I'm not... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get me hands on you. Exactly. Um, Graham Sturman's in, long time gents. Yes, it's been a long time, sir. Thank you very much for tuning in. Love Graham. Love you. Yeah. Um, Darren saying we should have won the home game. I think he was referring to Crystal Palace. Yes, absolutely. We should have bloody won that. Oh, God, way. that's the one um, that got away, wasn't it? Another one, yeah. <laughs> Another one. Another <laughs> 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 one. Another one. Another one. Top 20 that got away. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> DVD. Yeah. Lord Seren's in the building. Um, Morpheus. 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 Oh, here's a question before you, uh, after yeah. the Morpheus thing. Do you, re do you reckon if Tottenham actually beat us, they'll release a DVD? Because they released a DVD yeah, where they well, beat us. Yeah. I beat us 1-0. They'll beat us 1-0. Right, let's release a DVD. Of... Was it when we came close to the title? We came yeah, when we beat Watford. When exactly. Beat Watford. Probably <laughs> were, the greatest ever achievement um, beating Watford. Greatest ever goals against Watford. Yeah. Like, that would be the, like, the edit bit at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Compilations. What, Watford Woody says we need one new striker, two midfielders, and a new defence. Well, Moods, you're signing for him. So yeah, I'm signing team. for him. That's the striker, though. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the striker, sort of. That's the goalkeeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Darren's put the Watford team are on their way to Ibiza. Well, already. Are they? Yeah. What's going on there? I've missed something. Who's playing tomorrow? Who's going tomorrow? Yeah. Who's going tomorrow? Yeah. Who's going tomorrow? 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 Who's going Seren's put attack from the kickoff like we did at home to Chelsea. He's beginning to believe then, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Bjorn's put uh, guy all guns blazing on the massive pitch, use both wingers to full attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Stuart put future Christmas crackers will have on um, pieces of paper after pulling out the cracker, saying who's injured this week for Watford, not bloody acceptable Watford FC. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ball opening, yeah, well, not again. <laughs> oh, are we ever going to see him in a Watford shirt again? No. Uh, yeah, well, he's he's got got to, he walked down the town, I saw him down the town the other day. Yeah. 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 He said, I've got it free printed. He said, I've got it for 20 quid, no, didn't he? Didn't he suffer a set? He's suffered like training. four setbacks this season. A week, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a week, yeah. Um, so when saying our players need to turn up and play attacking football from the kickoff, 
How did he go to your score Thursday, mate? That's all I can yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> carry on. <laughs> he says, we have fans flying over from Finland, fans travelling to Wembley from all over the country. Oh, we deserve to see some effort yeah. and passion yeah. from the players. Yeah. Um, w, uh, WD18 are the future fans of our club. Uh, what for Woody? What's he put here? Um, what for Woody's put, he has been allowed to pick the players he, he wants. The board have not given that to any other coach. Flexibility, yeah, that is a little bit true to be honest. Yeah, if you think you die by the sword, if he's going to pick, if they want him to bring this card forward and he's going to be responsible for his actions, you must let him, yeah, pick the team. But I think, I I think also, I think the other reason why Gracia has been picking so many of the players, I think, is because we've now got so many of them back from injury. Yeah, you know, we haven't, you know, we couldn't have Pereira properly fit for a long time, and we had and. It was a case of he was getting frustrated. You could see that. Yeah. yeah. But ever since, Gra- and it's strange. Ever since Gracia has come in, injuries have gone. Yeah. I mean, the injuries very, very have very dried up a little, and one or two people's fitnesses have gone flying oh, up yeah, that way. Pereira. Yeah. Pereira, Pereira yeah. being one of them, and yeah. then Gracia coming out officially saying we have him 100 percent fit now. Yeah. yeah. We're going to see the full full mm. force of him, and you know his goal record says it all at the minute. Is it three and four? Pereira, yeah. yeah. Pereira, 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 so yeah. yeah. That's, uh, Next Thursday, Pidge, Seren says, yes, mate. Next Thursday, uh, next Thursday, you are not scoring. Okay. I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> after, after missing out this week. Um, Sir Duncan of Rap Band says, our budget will take a huge hit if we go down. We are not no, going down. No, no, no. Stop it. No, no. Delete, delete that no. comment. Delete, 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 we have been rehabilitated. <laughs> 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 no, if we've been smart, no, 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 no. Delete, no, no. deletion of the relegation piers is. Yeah, that, um, that Darren's actually just said, "Are we safe?" Yeah, I think Great we are. Near, we are near enough over the line. If Dan, if if Super Dan Grimley's worried. I mean, this yeah, is that's 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 uh, Richard's put: Should we keep the management for next season? Yeah, yes. until December minimum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Give him until December. They're always right. They're always right until December. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Don't wait until like I said to you. Wait until no, two no, weeks no. to go before the end of transfer winners. Oh, go on, then off you go. <laughs> Or just don't let him near any Everton directors. Yeah. <laughs> don't let him. Yeah. Everton are the was, yeah. I, lo- I love this one from Bjorn. We're not going down. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. That's sort of a German um, twist to mix. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, so they just no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ke- uh, Kerry has just joined us. Ah, uh, Kerry. Kerry. Yeah. Look, Kerry. Kerry. Kerry's done. Um, cheers, Kerry. Absolutely. Stuart, just, just jump back in. We need to create a. A board game like Connect Four, because tomorrow night is going to be a nightmare. Can we pass the four players in a row? Connect Four, God, I live in hope. <laughs> good game, good game. Um, yeah, Seren's right retaliating, yeah. saying, who, uh, who won the game? I played the setting up role. You guys are really good, though, especially Dino. That's because he wasn't defending the free kick. Thank you, Mate, Seren. Mate, Thank I you, could only walk on one foot, and you still couldn't score past me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Seren. You're lucky I don't play, so that's, that's what it's oh, I could have sat down and had a milkshake, and I still would have gone past me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Your direction towards goal is worse as bloody Duncan with the bunker, mate. That's all I can say. Right. <laughs> um, but by the way, mate, all fairness, mate, I'll see you next Thursday. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's six quid. Yeah, yeah. No, four four quid. Quid. Yeah. Well, tell about your 30 quid before you do this. Tell about your 30 quid t shirt. Yes, Jesus. yes, right, guys. Right, I do have a little, yes, little thing to announce. Um, a friend of mine, uh, a work colleague of mine, uh, who works in Br- uh, Bristol Depot, um, for my co- for the company I work for, uh, goes and supports his not uh, local non league club called uh, Bristol Manor Farm. Um, today they had a charity auction to raise money, and a lot of and there, a lot of stuff there today was signed football shirts. Um, and my mate messaged me because they'd managed to get hold of this season's Golden Boys one. Um, he asked me if I would like him to bid on my behalf. I did say yes. Um, and I can confirm that I have won the shirt and it only cost, and it cost 30 quid. So, <laughs> 30 Make sure quid. you let them know about how much Forest Green shirt went for. Yes. Oh, well, <laughs> although we have been upstaged by Forest Green Rovers, whose shirt went for sixty-five quid. <laughs> they are the bigger team than us right but now. They so they, they, do have they, have they, have they do have Dale Bennett, the heart of their defence. Oh, uh, Dale Bennett. Bennett that's Dale Bennett. Bennett. Obviously, so, they are putting up trees, but Dale, Dale, Dale yeah, Bennett, the heart of their defence. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, what, once I get the shirt, I will bring it round, and we will. I will show it, show it off to everyone because it's. 
been signed no, by no, this no, season's no. first team. And no, also, no, guys, no. remember... It's not going to go missing. It's going to show just been, to me. Watch <laughs> WD18, guys. Remember, we're in the Association of WD18, the Waffle Fans channel. Like, share, subscribe with them, guys. Um, and watch them, obviously, for all the... On there every week. He's on there every <laughs> week. <laughs> Even if they're not doing the videos, on there every week. So yeah. check out Danny Irons' videos. But also Lord Seren, aka Morpheus, in Morpheus. Uh, in Unit Five. <laughs> Morpheus, Viz. Morph Morpheus Viz. Yeah, he's um, moves has actually visited the sweet shop. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yes. 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 What's, it called, what's it called, though, Pitch? What's it called? Sweets for all. Yeah. 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 I've had three days to practice. <laughs> but <laughs> Unit 5, Watford Market, next door's a nice brekkie as well. So go get your brekkie and then go over to Seren's Sweet Shop, Sweets for All. And he's got loads of it. He's selling loads of stuff for charity. He's doing loads of, um, what's the um, charity he's doing? He's doing one, he's doing uh, a couple of heart. charities. But... It's the Air Ambulance for Hearts and Essex. Uh, he's also um, helping Graham Laycock with the epilepsy charity but, with the mugs as well uh, if you go and buy one from Seren's shop he will donate the money straight to the charity so please yeah. go and help a it's of great £10 courses. £5 goes to charity yeah. you get from Graham Laycock seven ninety nine, and it goes all to the epilepsy charity as well so either way if you buy it it's going to cost roughly 10 quid, but it most of it will go to charity guys so please 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 donate if you can yeah uh, was it? Oh, we, that's it. There was a comment here from Watford Woody. Yeah. Oh yeah, what, Watford Woody says looks like TMA could put a team together soon. Yep, this could happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Little, little Taylor, I think we'll have to join them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick her up. Yeah, we'll stick her up. Little right. Taylor up front. Well, yeah. Hanging yeah. the goals. Well, well, yeah. Morpheus can hold the ball. Morpheus on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Knock on to Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. Bang it in. So, Ren's was probably with another comment to you guys. I'm not bad for being a 46 year old git. I used to go. I, I'm used to going around the keeper and scoring, laugh out loud. If you can't shoot in the box when we yeah. play, mate. You've got, you got to actually shoot now, Morpheus. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. He scores screen. Um, yeah, so yeah. Ray of Cook is on. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Cookie. Uh, Mr. Laparos put 30 quid. Must be Carrillo, Carrillo Ziegler or Wagyu shirt um, that I've got. It, I can confirm there's no name on the back of it. If you want so, Moves' his shirt, that will go for thousands. Yes, yeah. it will. But it's I've got it on tonight as well. Uh, <laughs> so even more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even more. Another couple of quid on yeah, top of that. Yeah. <laughs> Two pounds. Do we all just put do, do we need the goalkeeper? Nope. So we've got Dalbo. Swedish. He's Swedish sort of yeah, yeah. playing to yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, Swedish got good keepers. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think he's on about Thursday nights. Probably is, mate. Bjorn messaged me, mate. That's all I can say. Yeah. Darren's put happening. It is happening. It's definitely it happening. Exactly. It's happening. Happening. It's happening. It's happening. Yeah. The podcast is happening. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. It is happening, Super Darren Griffey. Well done, mate. Let's Would he it. call me? <laughs> Would he call me? In. 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 What have you two been doing? You've been playing outside again and gone past your curtain. <laughs> I dread to think. Interesting. We'd like to hear the, the end of that one. We should start with two up front with Gray and Deeney. Yeah, yeah, Elliot, yeah. I completely agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely he's got to play. Deeney and Gray. Not because, you're, uh, not because he's your Boring. brother. But no, it's simply because <laughs> we saw how well it works against Palace and we were crying out for it all season. And the times he, he has brought on two, two strikers in, like, in the serves, it has worked really well. Yeah. I think at times when well, didn't you say that with the, um, WD18? Yeah. Did you mention it? I, I, mentioned, I mentioned it. it. I mentioned it months ago. <laughs> I mentioned. I think I mentioned it about set, um, when when we started to dip at. I mentioned it in it. August. Pre-season. <laughs> 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 I said. I said it because to cut the reason, Deeney's always had a striker with him, and Gray yeah. has always, always had a striker with him. Yeah. So you've got two into together. <laughs> and, we've, and we've seen it at times when he did put um, Southampton at home. Yeah. When Gray came on, on yeah. Deeney was up top with him, and all of a sudden the two of them just went like that, yeah. Yeah. and they were fucking flying at him. And Southampton didn't know what to do. No. But got, it, that is Southampton. But we, you know. we, we've said this. Most teams always used to playing one against front. one up front. Yeah. The two centre-backs can just say, right, we're going to double up on yeah. them. Yeah. Go, go back to your Leicester one in the league. What did they have there? Two up front. Yeah. Two, up front yeah. two up front. Vardy and... Um, was it? Off and the interchange. Team. One dropped, one yeah. thing, one... Both yeah. played against each other. Mm. And we wasn't the Leicester team. wasn't a great team. wasn't a world class team. Yeah. What they had, they were spirit. They had all work for each other. And again, they had two front. No teams expected. Burnley, similar to Burnley. Exactly. Burnley. Exactly. To Burnley. Burnley. Slightly well, lesser, yeah. successful version yeah. of Leicester is Burnley <clears throat> from that season. Yeah, 
They know their jobs. They're not not the best team, no. but they can do their jobs perfectly. And they work for each other. I think they play for the month for us. And they have a massive injury list. Yeah. Well. Yeah, all the loads of combinations. Well, they've used the least amount of players all season, I think. But he says it all, doesn't it? Oh, brilliant. That wouldn't surprise me. Mm. Um, you want to put Stevie G is in the house? The Word. That's what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not really what for Woody saying, uh, love him lots, couple of kisses, Stuart, mate. Seriously. This, yeah, this serious bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is going on? Yeah. Can, we, can we have a bit of calm? Yeah, we're used to Tom Foolery with Moons yeah, yeah, and Dino, but this is just yeah, ridiculous now. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. just shout out the um the thousand mark thing so you you can yes. shout out. But I'll just say, can I just say, uh, he's going to do a thing. He's still not satisfied, um, <laughs> sexually <laughs> or otherwise. But, um, <laughs> but we, we've got, we got uh, 1,000 guys. That, I mean, he'll, probably, he'll say a bit about it as well, guys. But, please, uh, but thank you ever so much, guys. Every single person yeah, who's man. worked towards this. We're on 1,000. We're obviously going not satisfied until we get them to the next 1,000. <laughs> but everyone, I just shout this out. Yeah. Everyone, <laughs> everyone who's done the podcast, everyone who started, when we started this with me and Mike Bell, started this forum up. And from everyone who's preceded that as well, thank you ever so much. Even one little comment, you have contributed to it. So thank you very much. Yes, so indeed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Keep it going. Keep. <laughs> in short, keep it going. Keep, keep, it, going, yeah. short, keep it going. So, um, but yes, I will lead more onto the thousand thing towards the end. Mm. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's, it's worth it. it. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, Bjorn's just saying two thousand million. <laughs> Stuart's just put the million. <laughs> Stuart's just responded to what for Woody saying, lads, it's Valentine's night, Woody. Seriously, getting con- this. Oh, is what you, going you, on. What's worrying? He keeps saying Woody as well in doing <laughs> this as well. This is just getting really worried. <laughs> Pissed He's been drinking special brew again. Yeah, yeah, so 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 no in a minute. You know he's just gonna put no. Yeah, I think well, there will be a note. What for fans? They are some special bunch of what for fans. So. Well, yes. Aiden breaks train windows. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets off his Aiden? laptop just before he actually speaks to us as yeah. well. What he's doing on his laptop, I really don't know, but he's very yeah, are you? and yeah. very special. Very special. <laughs> High panting and, yeah. you know, and sweaty. So yeah. I really don't know what he does before we <laughs> ring him up. And he gets way too excited before we ring him up. On yeah, that. yeah, exactly. Oh, get me well, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to kill us now, isn't he? Is he yeah, he's going to do what right. tonight. No, I'm, I'm not sure Aiden signed in yet. No, no, I will tag him stuff. in this. Uh, I'll have one of him tomorrow night. Um, Ray's yeah. just coming. I think it's one for you. Says, um, his missus says hello and thanks for the help at the hospital. Pleasure. Um, absolute pleasure. Anytime, mate. What for Woody saying, I'm not happy and you can tell. How can you tell? I'm actually you smiling. See, yeah. I'm smiling. You can't see that I'm not happy. They've been in a good mood all day. Yeah, you got a yeah. what for two for 30 quid, damn you people. Yes, exactly. Signed. And I was at another boot camp class this morning at nine o'clock this morning. After. Six packs, six packs, yeah. six packs. Yeah. Well, was it six packs coming? It was a, si- well, it was a six pack last night because I drank eight pints. <laughs> eight pack, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> and eight pints, I went to boot camp at nine o'clock. What the hell possessed you this morning? Right, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Morpheus says, thank you so much, Pidge, for setting up TMA. No, um, thank you, mate. So uh, I can set it up with only two people. If you guys don't post and everything, you ain't going to get off the ground anyway. Darren, I'm going to have words with you about this. If he's not satisfied, he needs a woman then. Laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> you are in trouble for that. That's funny. <laughs> you, Darren, you, with your tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother's just coming. Should we start uh, Luke Bacchio or Richardson tomorrow night? Richardson. Richardson, Luke Definitely. Bacchio, Elliot, I love you, but no. you are a fool because. Yeah. <laughs> crazy fool. <laughs> crazy fool. Yeah, so fool. Yeah, he's, clearly, he's clearly not ready yet. <laughs> no, not yet. He's clearly no, not ready. Right. Next season, get him out on loan for a full season. Exactly. And let's see where he can develop. He's, he's clearly not ready yet. Because I think he. Didn't he sign a five year deal? Yeah, he, he come on, he gets he's twice done, didn't he? We've yeah. seen him since. Eight pack moves from yeah, Bjorn, by the way. Yeah, he's eight pack moves. Richardson, Richardson, 100% not, not start with Richardson. Yeah. Right, Sally, so let's shout, shout this out. Watford, um, Watford ladies lost 4 0 at home to Millwood Lionesses. Two goals from um, Hinks, Dean, and Gaylor. So, unlucky um, uh, Watford ladies for a shout out for them anyway. 
difficult circumstances, yeah. shall we say. So, yeah, uh, girls, hopefully yeah. things will improve. Hopefully. Yeah, superb yeah. effort, girls, no matter what the score is. So, yeah. shout out to you. Yeah. Shout young out to the ladies. Young squad. Young yeah. squad, yeah. yeah. There was actually a pi- there was actually a picture that flashed up on Instagram from the Watford ladies uh, thing today, and it actually I think I'm pretty certain Watford should have had a penalty because you see the Watford striker going for the ball, and it looks like the keeper's about to just <laughs> hit the head off them <laughs> and drag it to the ground. It's like, are you going for the ball? Are you going for a net? <laughs> Step the goddamn <laughs> net! <laughs> <laughs> it was almost a proper clean out. And I was like. There must be more to that photo than what the the angle it's been taken on, but it, it looks very dodgy. If you have, if you guys, if you follow Watford ladies on Instagram, dive over there and have a look, and you'll know what I'm on about when you see it. So, right, Move uh, Dino, Move Dino's non-league selection is coming up right now, but right. Yeah. Yes. Also, probably a shout out to our groundsman as well for. Yeah, yeah, go yeah, on, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Steve Tingley and the boys for ground team of the year. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that yeah. pitch is like. Compared to what it He's was. He's a bowling ground. Oh, mate. Compared amazing. to what it was, you can imagine what it, when, when it was under Ray Lewington and stuff, it was just a mess. Yeah. God, it was... Part of the reason why Sar- Saracens would be kicked Saracens off, because it was just yeah, a yeah. mess. And they were moaning about us, so why are we playing football on it? It's a football it's pitch. It's our fucking ground. Yeah. So, Hello. Yeah, uh, like, no, it's in serious, that pitch is a carpet now. Yeah, oh, it's, it's amazing. amazing. It's it's massive. Every time yeah. you go there, you're like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, amazing. yeah. So, it's amazing. Did I ever tell you the story about when I had a massive round with Saracens fan? I almost, pun- almost punched him in the face. Well, tell me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> it. Well, come on. yeah, years, years ago, like, like Danny just said, like, yeah, Saracens were moaning at us yeah, about playing yeah. football on it. Yeah. Um, I was actually at a Saracens match at the Vig, mm. and this geezer started shooting his mouth off, going, I pay all this money for a Saracens season ticket, and these bloody footballers turn up every week and wreck our pitch. And I just told him, "Our pit." Yeah, and I told him, "Someone said you have got two options: one shut up, or two I'll punch you." And he went, "Why is that?" I said, two friends, fuck off. Yeah, yeah. I said, he, got, he, went, he asked me why, and I said, "I'm a what for season ticket holder, and I'm allowed to have my say, and you've got no right to say what you said yeah. <laughs> because it's our ground." All you had to do was look around the stadium. On the seats had WFC <laughs> on the seat. Yes, <laughs> yeah. well, well, clearly says the welcome, the welcome to what for football club. Yeah. Kind of gives it away. It doesn't say welcome to. Welcome to Vickers' home of Watford Football Club. Adam Sowers did it. It says, Welcome to Vickers' Ride home of Watford Football Club. Exactly. Nigel, Nigel Ray started yeah. that off. <laughs> Nigel Ray started that off moaning and bleeding yeah. about it. He that probably is what kicked him out because it was because when we when we started, okay, not because when we were <coughs> we were still in championship, but we got to the point where no, we need to we need to concentrate just on Watford now. Yeah, we need a Premier League ground. Yeah. We need a Premier League pitch. Rugby, as well. I'm not being funny, but rug, rugby teams shouldn't be sharing with. They should have the right no, ground. No, it's most of them do now. To yeah, be most of them I mean, do. You get, especially in the, in the it's rugby only really league. Rugby league, league like it's like only that, really rugby league. league. Like you got Huddersfield, they share with Huddersfield. The Witness have got their own. Yeah, yeah Wigan as well. Wigan, Wigan share. Yeah, it's only weird. See, that's flipped the other way around because the ladies and reserve teams. I think Liverpool and Everton both play there, or United have played there. Yeah, yeah. Look, all the under twenty threes. They all well. They all well. Obviously, we play at. Where do we play most of our matches? And 23s. Uh, well, it's the UCL. The UCL, yeah, yeah, the UCL, UCL. yeah. The ladies play at, obviously, King's Landing. King yeah, yeah, it used to be a Burko, didn't it? Yeah, it's it's UCL, UCL for all the under 23s. Yeah, it's like that. They all teams together, no matter what. Yeah, so, so, Dave, so David Quick has joined us. for the Very quick. Really He's yeah. joined us very quickly. Um, what for Woody's come up with his classic comment of no, no, no. We do not know what that's yes, about. Yes, yes, yes. Sell, <laughs> sell, sell, sell. sell. <laughs> it's not like trading places now. Yeah. It's Winthorpe. Winthorpe's just, well, there we are. Winthorpe's just messaged him. But guys, um, before he does his non-league um, review, uh, just message in your lineup. What do you think we chop and change? Who do we should put in on the bench? You know, what do you think the score? We, we, most of you guys have put what the score is as well. Put the score up and also, um, what should we do? A top three as well. Um, right, top three managers, barring Taylor. We've probably done this a while ago as well. So put your line up yeah. for tomorrow. Stuff you want to chop and you can even just put what you want to chop and change. Who you want to bring in? Who you want to bring out? Who do you th- who do you hope to see in as well? And then your top three managers, barring Taylor. This one, a row from Taylor. I'd go Canazis, Holibas, Kafka, Cabaselli, Kiko, Pereira, Husey, Decore, Richardson, Dini, Gray. That's what I'd go. So I'll play four four two. I'll play Dini and Gray. Um, the rest of it, I'll come up with it later after he after he does his in depth um, non league report. But I'll probably most of that I'll agree with Dean yeah. and Gray. Mm-hmm. Uh, the manager thing, the manager thing, guys, I will come up with my yeah. my own. Favorite. It certainly won't have Bassett, Viali, or Colin Lee in it. 
Well, but I might just wind you lot up and put that on the spot. Canabee, that was his name, the one that said Fulham. Canabee. Yeah, he was Canabee. good for us. Yeah, he played a good match. So do you go by favourite manager or do you go by managers who have actually done well with the team? Because in that thing, I, I personally would put Ray Lunton at the top because what he had with the squad, what, yeah, yeah, what yeah. resources he had, he had basically no resources, got us to T semi finals, got us to safety every season. So I'd put, I'd yeah. put him yeah, People yeah, snort yeah, and Rhoda, but Rhoda with no money did well for one se- solid one season, then we had no squad because he had no money to invest yeah. in the squad. We had to, I mean, apart from um, Palmer, we had to get by Penrice, that's all mm. I can say. But yeah, Steve Harrison would be one of my picks as well. Ray Lunton yeah. is definitely one of them. Yeah, probably Lewis up there as well, yeah. but I'll come up with that later. I'll do yeah, mine later. I was right. say, just, just back then, I'm up on the on Yukanovich thing. Yeah, that's good shot. Yukanovich, you can, I, I sat and watched most of their game on Friday night against Sunderland, and S- Sunderland took the lead. But Fulham didn't panic. Mm, no. like, he never did it. Well, they just, never that's panic. the thing. He just stood there and he was he was looking at him and he was like, game plan, guys. Come on. Let's yeah. get back to the game plan. Before you know it, bang, bang, bang. Passes, passes, passes. Down the wing. They managed to get the equaliser, which was a classic one because they got to the byline, pulled it back. Keeper just parried it straight to the back post and had a tap it. It, 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 reminded, it reminded me of our season with him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Where we got promoted, yeah, it, it was that type of football that was being played. To be fair, why did we get rid of him? You know, that was the we, year we got second. Because the, the Pozzo is one, one, he wanted, was he wanted a million quid, but a Pozzo yeah. had the best payment in store. Well, if you wanted exactly, it, front, to yeah. me, it's crazy because he's good at making decisions and yeah. he does it quick. You I mean, with hindsight now, does, it was pop, yeah. could have been a bad mistake for us letting him go and just paid him the two million. Because he changes yeah. it, he changes yeah. it quickly. Well, yeah, I'm going to think back to the Brighton game. You managed to set up for 20 minutes, didn't you? Yeah, it took work and changed it, and there you go. Took one off, because when I saw that sub come, I thought, what is he doing? And you were. Yeah, it wasn't injured, but... Thought, no, he's actually making a tactical decision. Yeah. It? Bloody hell, it worked. He, spot, it? Yeah, he spotted something. Who did he bring up? Was it Boris he brought on? No, it's Guardiola. Was it Guardiola? Yeah, it's Guardiola. Yeah, it was Anya, wasn't yeah, it? Anya. Yeah, Anya got That's the one I remember. It definitely was Anya, and I thought it was Guardiola. So no, what, 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 <laughs> yeah. what, 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 that's probably the best serve uh, ever in Watford's history. I think, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, Watford Woody, Deeney has been declared fit. Mm. He is not injured for tomorrow night. Okay. That's massive. That is so, um, but, um, but yeah, right. Well, I'm going to do a quick bit of non-league, guys, because there, yeah. was, there was some big, it was final rounds yesterday. So the non-league season has pretty much packed up, unless... Unless you're Hemel Town Football Club, because they have cemented their playoff place. Yeah, well done. Despite a final day defeat down at Western Supermare, they went two one. They lost two one. They did take the lead through Jordan Parks, who scored direct from another corner. I'll tell Parks. you what, you see the clip, you see the goal he scored direct from a corner. Blimey! He's done that a few times for him. Oh, I've seen yeah. a few of them. He's done that a few times. <laughs> this this one was just exce- yeah, it was exceptional. Yeah. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, they did go on to lose the game two one. But they still finished fifth in the league, which means they got the playoff place. And now this is where I'm going to plug it. Because they Hemel want as many people there as possible. This Wednesday evening, Wednesday evening, I'm going to reiterate it. 7:45, Hemel Town Football Club. They are at home to Braintree Town in the playoff. Okay. Now, um, where is it? Uh, yeah, 7:45. The tickets are priced as follows. Because it's a playoff game, they have increased them a little bit. It's not much, but it has been a little increase. So if you want to go, it's adults are now 15 quid for Wednesday, under 18 to fiver, and concessions 10 pounds. Still a decent price. Though. It's still, yeah, still, still a great still price. A price. price. Um, tickets go on actual general sale tomorrow. Now it is advised that you try and get a ticket if you do want to go. Try and get a ticket in advance of the game. Now there's four four places you can get them from. The football club themselves, uh, the Green Acres pub in Grove Hill. In Hemel, there's Green uh, Green Acres Two Pub in Bennett's End, and also Hemel's sponsors Underwood Solicitors are also selling some tickets as well. Um, if you do want to go and you pound and you get and you pound the night, please allow enough time to get there because Hemel are expecting a big crowd, and there could be a long queue to get in. So if you do want to go, see if you can go and get a ticket in advance because it will save you a lot of time and you can queue jump as well. And I think Hemel would rather people buy the ticket in advance so they can just get straight in so they don't have to worry about delaying yeah. kickoffs. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'll read about it. Um, is it Boggins, the chairman of it? Yeah, Boggins, yeah. He's saying, saying that he just couldn't 
you know, afford if they go up in the league because the, the standard I of think it, the, the money, the money um, to yeah, it's put him on that extra level, he won't be able to afford that it. Was because he won't have to bring some of it. He's got enough contacts. Yeah, he should, yeah, that's what I think he's trying to do. I've, I've been told by a couple of people within the club, unofficially, that he's concerned. He's not saying he can't, but he's concerned. You're at Swap for isn't they, Emil? Yeah, yeah. he's going downward. Matt Spring. Problem is though, Woody. That's why. That's what I meant. That's what. Games. That's what I meant. Woody. He's concerned about the financial because all he's what the reason thing is. He was just saying they're just going to survive. He wouldn't be so concerned. He wants them to challenge. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. To keep going. Yeah. That's why he's concerned because really, you look at a lot of the clubs that are up at that that point mm. have got exactly. a big wage yeah. it's not the transfer budget in no. non-league it's wage budget wage, yeah. you've got yeah. a wage budget you can basically yeah. buy anyone exactly most of the teams in the National League have actually full time most of them haven't they yeah, that's most of them in the wanna... those north and south are full yeah. time as well they they have, yeah, yeah. They? I think Hamil- if Hamill do go up they have poss- they have considered the option of switching to full time mm. but it's only if they can get mm. the funds so you know, just just, sell out crowd. Right, yeah. you go shout yeah. out a couple of those. Watford Steve's put a few things in there. I'm one of them, I will actually put in there. The what yeah. the, his manager one, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, you can, which Ken Furphy and Ron Burgess. Furphy. Is Furphy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's that's not a bad one. Um, so Alan of Laffer, I was just commenting, I, did, I didn't actually realize this, but Bourne Wood have also cemented a mm. playoff place as well national in the league National playoff. League. Yeah. So that is a huge well done to them because it was only a couple of years ago they were playing Hemel mm. in the set in the in the league. So and, that's um, a huge achievement. Barnet got a chance of staying up and also to the because yeah. the managers come and done a great yeah. job and they only need a point last Mad game Dogs so. back again for the fifth Mad time. And they were like Martin Allen, yeah. Martin Allen's back. Honestly, not joking, it is the fifth yeah. time. Fifth time is back, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keeps yeah. going back. Barnett are on 43 points. Morecambe on 45. So it's out of them. Out of I them think Barnett really. are playing the bottom team last year. Yeah, Barnett are playing Chesterfield. Last no, that's game, the one, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's going to be one hell of a yeah. battle. Mm. I mean, some of these things, rather than watching the, like, the um, Premier League, some of the league <laughs> promotion and relegation are absolutely <laughs> ding, ding, ding. So Ray of Cook. Oh. Ray Cook. Yeah, I haven't got Skype, Ray. Hang on, two secs, mate. Wait a minute, Ray. Yeah, Ray, just um, hold down for a moment, mate, and I'll put it back on, mate, because my phone won't allow me to think. Uh, actually, mate, I will um, go on Facebook, mate, and call you. I'll call you on Facebook, fella. Well, just while you're doing that, just one more thing with the non-league stuff. Yeah, go for um, it, mate, go on. With the playoffs, unfortunately, there was one team that have suffered disappointment. St Albans City lost yesterday, which meant they have missed out on the playoff place, so they will not Shame, be yeah. taking any further part. Yeah. Um I don't. I can't remember who they lost to, but they did slip up. Bad edge, yeah. Um, so it's, uh, yeah. But yeah, like I say, Bournemouth and Hemel in the playoffs. They're going for it. And like I say, please, guys, if you are free on Wednesday, get down to Hemel Town. Just go and support them. You have the things because I think they're going to do segregation as well. So that's all right, mate. We'll carry it on as well after sort of raise and we'll allow this audio. Right, Sir Ray. Hello? Hello, young man. Hey. Sir Ray, Mr. Cook. Hello, mate. Mr. Cook Roar. They're off from Dino. Oh. <laughs> with a roar. Yeah, no, 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 with a roar. Suit you, mate. He, likes a ro- he likes a good roar. I do like a good roar. Not in the <laughs> roar, but I like to be in the roar. I mean, what am I talking about? <laughs> anyway, uh, how are you guys? All right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, good mate. You all right? Yeah, great. Looking forward to Monday night. It'd be good to go to the home of football and watch us smash Spurs. <laughs> yeah. the, the, no, no, they're not the pitch yet. The Moobs Classico. Yes, yeah, the Moobs Classico. The Moobs Classico. Yeah. The Classico. Yeah. Are you playing up front tomorrow, Moobs? Yes, mate. Yeah, I've been declared fit, so uh, it's all good. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, the size of those boobs, mate, you'll be putting them right out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his boobs are offside. He will be offside as well. Boob Dino. Very true. Yeah, exactly. She's a future presenter, by the way. That girl is a brilliant. I love it. Little love Miss it. Cook yeah. is a future presenter. Miss Cook. Miss Cook, yeah, definitely. She's definitely is. Um, She's definitely going to. 
I, I, I'll be looking for you for that pint tomorrow, Moopsy. I'm only joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I will post what pub I'm going to because I haven't got a clue what Green pub Man. I'm going to the Green Man, I think. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a pub last time, haven't you? Yeah, yeah when your mate, mate, a few others. When your mate asked him about the free kicks, oh, wasn't it? Yeah. This is the you still yeah. defending a free kick wall, yeah. That's the first thing he said to me. Well, yes, he is, yes. So what's, um, so what's your, your take on tomorrow night? I hear De- DeFeo might be... Uh, in the squad tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, I think I, you know, I think having him back in the squad, the possibility he's going to be on the bench, I think it's a huge lift for us. Yeah, I think we have. Most definitely. Uh, it's been. I think it's clear we've missed him. Yeah. You know, oh, because we, yeah. we, you know, he was bombing down that right wing, but it was like he was going out of fashion mm. before he got injured. Yeah. Yeah, but, but that was just our luck when it get a player yeah. like that and form gets injured. That's well, exactly. Hughes was the same, probably yeah, yeah. Danny pulled down. Surprise, surprise, though. Yeah, well, it, so. it had to be Everton that crippled him, wasn't it? <laughs> so they obviously had It's worth the extra man to us, I think, if you put him in. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. He is. Right. Because he's not. He's not afraid to run, uh, to run at defenders constantly. No. That's what he wants to do because he knows he can draw them out or draw a foul off of him. And it, it, it yeah. gets us further up the pitch and brings more players back in. But like brings more players up into the attack and gives us another option or two. I think also we've been starved of a bit of service to the striker, so having someone like that who can who can cut inside and you know get some sublime balls into the box, um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the the with it, it might make a hell of a difference. Um, one of our men, and also, uh, also I must say, Casabelli coming back against Palace was a real. Um, Coy, it was really good. Oh, I completely yeah, agree, that mate. Was, yeah. I was shocked when I saw he was in the starting eleven. I was thinking, hang on a minute, is this a, is this like a little tactical thing? They're going to take him off after an hour, but for him to play ninety minutes and not look fatigued or anything like that was a huge, huge lift and a huge bonus oh, as well. He's very, he's very calm under pressure, and he's, um, I think he's made a difference to the back back four. Uh, mm. I mean. I don't, we don't miss Britos, I'm sorry, but... No, no he's, Britos, he's, he's, he's no. going in the summer anyway. Never had been, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think casabelli has got a bit of uh, pace as well. Castle Castle Belly, like that. Castle Belly, like that. What's your... What's your, um, what's your... Also, Ray, what's your um, top three managers apart from Taylor? Ken Furphy. Yep. He's got to be a, a favourite with me because he got us up into the old old second division for the first time in their history. My dad will slaughter me if I uh, can say Furphy, so I'll agree with you there, mate. Yeah. Um, Bill McGarry? What? Yeah. He was a good uh, manager at Watford. But then again, you can say the same about Saunders, who was there as well years ago. But um, yeah. if you're looking up to date, um, I, I didn't think Lewinson did a bad job. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, well, like I said, he had, yeah, like I said earlier, there. he basically... Sorry, got us to two semi finals, basing no money whatsoever. So I think he's a massive credit for what he did with that yeah. squad. Huge credit. Oh, Lew- Lewington, listen, I tell you what, he would, he could, he could make um, five thousand uh, pound look look like ten quid because he would shape something out of nothing, and I don't think he got the full recognition he deserved. <laughs> and uh, you know, I know Ray quite well. He's a lovely bloke, really. I'm pleased he's doing well. Unfortunately, he's with uh, Palace. Mm. Palace. Yeah. Palace. Um, Palace. But, <laughs> but I won't take away the, the actual effort he put into Watford Football Club and, um, you know, got a lot to thank him for there, really. Two cup runs and, you know, real gentleman. Really yeah. nice boy. Yeah. I think I um, think it was not. I was going to say I think it was nice last week that he got yeah, he got the yeah, applause before that, the game. Yeah, yeah, he deserved he deserved it. It. Just showed just showed what a man he was. Oh, Luton, I loved him. Yeah, I love him. I love him. I was I genuinely Luton. gutted he when he left. Yeah, hmm. I was as well. I mean, on a on a short term thing, I think Yukanovic was very unlucky, and he's proved yeah. the point by yeah. by going to Fulham and doing yeah. such a great job yeah. there. I hope he finishes the job there this season and gets him up to the Premier League. He deserves that much. I mean, you look at you look at uh, I can, and people keep thinking I'm stupid mentioning Rona, but you got to give Rona some credit with the fact that I mean Taylor made these plays better, but a lot of this the the team some of the team that w- went through Taylor's second spell <coughs> were from Rona's team. There was a yeah, few players yeah, from that team, were. a lot of a lot of Rona's players that he you know that were with him were with Taylor, so he's got to get some credit for. Um, 
starting or at least giving him some sort of um, groundwork. And Taylor probably would have said that credit to Rhodey. It didn't all go right for him, but you know he had a few. He had a few of those players: John O, Palmer, Page. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah. uh, Robbo yeah, wasn't pitch. there yet because he was through the youth team but yeah he was in the youth team but he was on the Conley yeah but it wasn't going to be long before Robbo did break through yep um, Wayne Darwin, Andrews um, still there yes mate always out always out mate yeah just Dean I'm a bit worried about at the moment yeah. <laughs> what's the score going to be tomorrow high. right <laughs> what's, uh, what's the score prediction <laughs> What, tomorrow? Yeah. Um, I'd have been very happy with a draw, but I'm an optimist. You know how I am. Um, <laughs> She's been I'll, sick I'll, after I'll, that prediction. I want, but... want four points out of the next yeah. three games, <laughs> starting with a draw tomorrow, a win against Newcastle, yeah, and it's going to be a tough one at Man United. Yeah. Tell. Yeah, I think what I'd... I know we were saying going to Man United on the final day is going to be tough, but haven't they... Pretty much got the second Pretty spot. Pretty much secure second place, yeah. You know, plus they've got the cup final the following week. Yeah. yeah Are yeah. they really going to want to go and just... He, he, I'm sure Mourinho's going to make some changes. Yeah. You know, it well, might be the best time to play. I was going to say, yeah. if, if, if he made a fair few changes, I'm not saying he will do, you know, and they didn't perform, <laughs> if I was one for up, he'd tell them, sniff blood, go for it. Mm-hmm. Attack them. Just hit them where it hurts. Yeah. yeah. So... He yeah. might not- do you hear my dog making its opinion about that? I had a beat for years. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, <laughs> I thought it was you, Ray. I thought it was you, Ray. No, no, I might, I might be an old hound dog, mate, but I can cry in the, the right direction. Yeah. Don't worry about <laughs> that. <laughs> They're all coming out. But, um, yeah, I mean, on another note, and I know it's talking a little bit ahead, um... Who do you think that Watford will uh, release at the end of the season? I mean, I've got my own thoughts on it already. I, I, I already said Britos. Yeah, Britos. I mean, Wag, Wag's only on loan anyway. Yeah, I think he's uh, I, I, I think, I think Decore is probably going to go. I don't want him to, but I think no. he will. Um, I'm maybe that's the, that's the main, I think, yeah, might end up going. Um, but apart from that, can I exist? Do you think we'll, we're going to sign him again? Like, nah. permanently or? No, because Dahlberg's coming in. Mm. So, it, I, it's not going to be, I, it's not going to be many players that are going to go. It's literally just going to be Britos 100% is going to go. Fine tuning, isn't it? Yeah. I think, yeah. Quality now yeah. rather than quantity. It's going to be a few, four, five, mm. really. I think a car, a car can might be shipped out as well. Yeah, right? yes. A car can yeah, be shipped out. He was going to go August and January at one yeah, point. Yeah, he should have been sold every transfer window. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. To be to be fair, Kabul Kabul is looking a bit jaded, and yeah, yeah. it's really worrying. It's getting reoccurrences of injuries, yeah. even when he looks like he's ready to return. Yeah, he seems just, to be it's just, three just quarters away the there, squad and then he has a minute, right? Yeah. Do you honestly think that he's going to be fit enough to be able to play Premier League football again no. next season? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not sure. He's always injured. It, well, it could be a case of that. You know, he's had another setback, but it could be a case of look, they'll get that the um, Dr. Doolittle to have another look at him and maybe it's going to be his decision that says, look, maybe you have to retire. Mm. Um, I love it to be proved yeah. wrong, but I don't f- I no, can't no, see I it. If you were right, yeah. I'd put my hands up for that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Or, if we, or if we did end up releasing him, I'd, I'd probably guarantee one club he'd go to. Spurs. No, they won't go back. Might go to Sunderland or something. No, he'd go Fulham. Fulham? Probably would, actually. He'd go Fulham. Guarantee it. We'll check on Wednesday. We usually dump all our... Um, Does he think that? Do you think well. he'll go to Yeah, I think, I, I think he will. I think he's going to... I think if he does get released, then I think he's, he'll be at Fulham. Because he won't... There is another, there is an, there is another rumour that Vydram might be coming back. That rumour is circulating more and more. If he comes back... I, I but, love the uh, guy... Mm. But, it's a but case he's had of, his chances in the Premier He's not done it. He had two yeah. chances Watford didn't do it. He had a chance West Brom he didn't do it. So... Yeah, but he needs... No, that's right. The he West Brom one is the yeah, thing that I mean, doubts me. He, is the West Brom chance. The West Brom was in the uh, Premier League. Yeah, yeah. It. And, yeah, he's done wonderful at Derby. He's, he's gone back to go forward again. He's a free-flowing yeah. championship he... player. Dwight Gale's the same. Yeah. yeah. Dwight Gale's another one. He'll score you 30 goals in the championship. Get into the Premier League, he'll probably score you eight at best. Mm. Yeah. 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 Well, I'd well, have him back, right? We know what a struggle it is scoring goals because we're... 
we're, we're, we're starved of it at the moment. And you can see with 42 goals this season, um, in 35 games, it's not a good break return. But you just never know. You never know with the last few games how we're going to react. Um, we've seen some uh, funny results over the weekend with the bottom teams doing reasonably well, haven't we? That's it, mate. Right, we're going to... We'll, you up for speaking to us on Tuesday? Because we're going we're gonna to make like a banana and split, mate. <laughs> They're all coming out. Sorry. Oh, I forgot that one. Yeah, the banana and split. Yeah, mate. Dear, it's, dear, 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 mate it's, sh- it's shocking, just right. like our defensive record, mate. Um, oh, she said, um, Taylor says goodbye as well. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm... Um, I'm uh, still on film set at the moment, but um, it's a shame because I'd like to get on get on again in the next week or two weeks. Yes, but mate, we need to arrange it. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to work something out anyway before the end of the season. Yeah, definitely, mate. Yeah, message me, mate. I will do, mate. And um, all you guys, sorry, who's the guest you got on today? I can't remember. Danny. We've got Super Danny. Yeah, Danny Grimley. No, that's Danny. Darren Grimley. This is Danny Iron of WD18 fame. The man, the da- Mr. Iron. WD18 himself great, is the man. Great, great interviews you do, mate. Fantastic. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Appreciate Fantastic. that. Appreciate that, buddy. Definitely, mate. That's got to be you said. That you do, one, you do a wonderful job. I'm going to sign off there. Let you get on with it. But thanks ever so much. And guys, you've done a great job. Congratulations on reaching thousand mark. I deserve it, fully deserve it. That's a thank you to you, mate, as well. Cheers, mate. Thank Cheers, you. Right. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Toodles. Cheers, all the best, then. Cheers, right. mate. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, right, just before we go, read out a couple more comments, mate, and then we'll get the yeah. last one. Uh, I love what Bjorn's actually put here, but uh, Vidra just needs service. If you service, a, uh, you service a lot of, if you service a service, he gets... You know, I want his own. He up. scores some screamers, which we, just, we don't score many screamers anymore. If you can prove me wrong, I'll be a. I'd love that. I'll tell you, I'd love to be more to prove wrong. I know, yeah, yeah, I, I know this one, because there's another player that's on loan that I think he's going to go back, and that's Carrillo. I think he's gone. Yeah, yeah he's, he's gone. He just hasn't done it. It's a shame. You know, and I think you put Delefeu there and say we did bring back Vidra. Keep pumping that in there. You let Delefeu run the right, yeah. let him get to the byline yeah. and get it, get it in yeah, the box. Yeah, I, I think that's I'd love, where to, I'd love to find out. I would yeah, really yeah, love yeah, to yeah. see him come yeah. back and find out yeah. and get proved wrong. Yeah. I think he proved everyone wrong, let's be honest. I think, really be more I think determined, people who are like me are banking against him but want to be proved yeah, cool. wrong. Yeah, it's one of those things where he knows people want to be proved wrong rather yeah. than be yeah, no, I was wrong. proved wrong. Oh, no, yeah, I knew no, he was crap. Right. Yeah, yeah. you know, watch yeah. his face, I guess, because it could happen. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. Uh, right. Gary Armstrong's a quick message watching for the first time. Good to see Danny on. Um, yeah. Darren Grimley just said we need two centre backs. Paul Wiggins has said we, I can't see Hollabats getting much game time next season. Can't defend, can't cross, can't do anything. Yeah, left back, I think, <laughs> um, certainty in the summer. Do left back. It's. Um, uh, Stuart says we need a. a, a at least 10, pe- 10 players need to go. We need a revamp. What's that, Knox? Uh, not a great revamp. It's not Flores. This is not the Flores. Yeah, no, no, no. Be... He's got um, dead work, he he yeah, might be yeah. Deadwood plus a load of players that were never going to play for us. He's yeah, probably no, been a combination. Uh, yeah, could be 10, but, you know. I mean, it's just, I think mean, there's about four or five low knees and maybe one or two of the first team that the contracts are up. Yeah. Just yeah. going to get, you know what, thanks for everything. But we're going in a different direction. Yeah, now. you're not part. Right, of it. we've so, we've got to love you and leave you guys now because this yeah. little young lady is absolutely shattered. So Amazing. I'll let Moose do his <laughs> bit in a minute. But once again, mate, thank you ever so much. Right, yeah, 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 the bro, bro, yeah, 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 yeah. So that comes to that point, yeah, yeah, young yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is really it's that point, man. I felt a wind pass my head. There, there, straight. No wonder it's standing up. <laughs> keep it up, moves, mate. That's all I can say. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> what about Woody? You are jumping in far too early, sir. And I'm not happy with you about this. Oh, no. You've annoyed you have annoyed me now. Right, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet, but no, guys, basically yeah. a huge, huge thank you for getting it to a thousand people. It's just simply I'm I am stunned we got there. <laughs> you know, after all these weeks of me shouting and honouring and complaining, well, still we not have satisfied. Uh, no, still not satisfied. I am satisfied happy, tonight. But, yeah. so, so I got me thirty quid signed shirt. Um, <laughs> but yeah, guys, even though we've got a thousand, <laughs> let's just keep putting the word out there. You know, 
please just speak to people you know <laughs> friends family work colleagues um, dustman milkman shopkeeper butcher florist there's about to be a florist that's florist well, um not yeah <laughs> and him um <laughs> you know just tell anyone you know that's a watford fan even if even it's if you're a member fan. yeah it, it, well to an extent yeah um, to an extent. Um, even if you're on another watford forum talk to people on there about what we do tell them to come over if they're getting fed up with certain forums tell them to come and join us we love everyone we love everyone because on here you know, to say what you want in moderation. Yeah. So, um, you know, please, please, just, uh, you know, just keep spreading the word. Let's just keep it ticking over now. Let's, get, let's just keep keep adding some, keep adding members. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I'm going to say on it. So, uh, he's been fully satisfied. Yes, I've been <laughs> fully satisfied. <laughs> for, once. Yeah, for once. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and like Aiden said, like Aiden says, it's all about the stimulation. Stimulation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody <laughs> hell. <laughs> there you oh, go. We're watching, mate. That was bloody hell. Yeah. Sweets for all. Unit 5. Watford Market. Hey, yeah. You got your eye again. Yeah. How to Morpheus. How to Morpheus. Carry on. Thank you for your comment yes. as well. That's a lovely oh. comment. Man. Yeah, carry on. Thank you. Right. It's good night for me. It's good night for me. It's good night for me. <laughs> it's good night for him as well, I think. Yeah, it's, it's good night from all of them. And we'll see you next week, guys. Well, maybe Tuesday. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow night if you go yeah, out first. Yeah, tomorrow night. Press it. <laughs> Did you press it? Yeah, yeah, yeah pressed yeah, it. Yeah. Press the button! And end. End. <laughs> end. 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 Press it! It's broken it! <laughs> Guys, we are still live. Somebody has just broken the. Um, Press it! This uh, will be our new bounce. This will. <laughs> there we are. Yes. <laughs> the tiger's